Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the render button in Filmora 11. Okay, so I will also show you how to keep the render file after you close the project because it is very important, especially for those of you who are editing a very big project or stuff like that. You need to spend one day or two days to edit one video. And after you close the project, the render file disappears. And it is a time consuming issue when you have to re-render the timeline again when you open it. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so for example, here I am on the timeline. And you see here we have a red line uh, on top of my timeline. It means that it is not rendered. So without rendering the timeline, it is very choppy when I play the video. Something like this. Okay, so it is not smooth, right? So in order to play the video smoothly, you need to render the timeline. So there are two options for that. The first option is to click this button. Okay, so this is the render preview button. Or you can simply press enter on your keyboard to render the timeline. Just click here. I just press the enter button, okay? All right, and after it finished rendering, the timeline will become green like this and we can play the video smoothly. Just play it. very nice right and now what happened if you close this project and maybe you open it tomorrow for example for example i can just close this project right now and save the project and let's go back to the home screen of Fimura 11 okay and here's the home screen and i'm going to open the project again so this is the project i'm going to double click to open it and let's see what happened with the timeline okay so as you can see here, the timeline become red again. So it is automatically delete the render file. So it is very annoying. So because I have to render the timeline again to get a smooth playback. And let's play it. All right, and to get rid of this issue, all you need to do is to change the preference inside the program. Okay, to do that, you can just go here at the file menu and select preference and then select performance okay so at the performance tab if you see this one this is a preview render file so all you need to do is to uncheck this box automatically delete render files when a project file is closed okay just uncheck it and then you can click ok and now you can render the timeline and close the project and open it without deleting the render file for example i can render the timeline now all right, so now the timeline is rendered and let's play the video. I can get smooth playback right now. And let's close the project and open it again. Okay, just click here to close. And this is the project, just double click to open. And now we will see the timeline, it's still green. Okay, so here's the timeline. It is still, still green, right? Very nice. And being mentioned that if you select this option, after maybe one week or one month or stuff like that, your computer will become full because uh, it will keep all the render file on your computer and you have to delete it manually to get more empty space on your computer. Okay, and to delete it is also very easy. You can find the Fimura Wondershare on your, on your computer. Okay, so here and we can double click and go to the render file so this is the render folder and you can just select the render folder here and delete all the render file here and you will get more empty space on your computer okay so that is how to use the render button in Filmora 11. i hope this video is helpful for you if you have any more questions just let me know in the comment section below and thank you very much for watching and i will see you in my next video goodbye